Welcome back. Now let's talk about problem 43 from chapter 2 of OpenStax College Physics. So we have it here. A basketball referee tosses a ball straight up for the starting tip-off. At what velocity must a basketball player leave the ground to rise 1.25 above the floor in an attempt to get the ball? Okay, so yeah, this problem it involves about free fall or something like that. But the idea really is it's really a constant acceleration problem. And the same equation can be used. This three equation will always be useful. So the idea here is that a player is supposed to live 1.25 meters above the floor. Or we could just consider it that, you know, his his feet, okay? If he's just moving straight, like the player might be here, okay? And his feet is here. Um, living 1.5 meters above the floor, meaning, oh, he, the player rises up and the player might, what, move up by 1.5 meters, okay? Meaning his feet level might be somewhere here already, okay? If it's not the feet, you can also focus on the tip of the hand, but it's the same thing. Now, 1.5 meters, meaning the player just move up by 1.5 meter. I mean, 1.25 meter, not 1.5. Okay, let me have that there. Oh, sorry. L let me put here a 1.25 meter. Okay. Now, what are we being asked? So we are asked for what must be the velocity that the player will initially leave so that it will have a maximum height of to rise 1.25 meters above the floor. Note that this will be the maximum height, right? Because be after that, then the player will start moving down again so if you just replace the player with a point because it's not easier to deal with a single point so we started from here and it will just move up by by 1.5 1.25 meter so vo here is what you're looking for okay and the displacement here s is what is given to be 1.25 okay and v final here is very important that you know V final here, if it's maximum height that the player can reach, V final here must be zero. Because after that, the, the, the player will now be moving down, downwards. So here, I think it's clear here that we can just use what? Equation three? Yeah. 2AS is equal to velocity final squared minus velocity initial squared. And note that this one is and uh, you the the when the player you know jump is under the influence of gravity and always acceleration due to gravity is always downward i'll just use a never use g um negative we'll use negative 9.80 meter per second squared the negative means it's moving downward so that we can use this equation all over again just note that a is downward and it's 9.80 meters per second squared so if we use that to times negative 9.80, S is 1.25. It's positive because you're moving up, okay? Final location minus initial location. Velocity final squared is zero minus velocity initial squared. Is that what you're looking for, VO? So from there, I think it's clear to say, if you do the math for that, okay? If you do the math for this one, let, let, let us try to do it. Two times, 9.80 times 1.25. I didn't write the negative because I will divide it by negative 1. Okay, uh, later. So 24.5, and I take the square root of that. Where's the square root here? Yeah, there. It's 4.95 meters per second. 4.95 meters per second. This is the speed that the player should jump so that it could reach up at a speed at a height of 1.25 meters base uh, from its starting point okay so i hope you're not confused with the use of a equal to 9.80 this is really by the idea of only gravity is acting meaning as, as the player jumps it's accelerating downward at negative 9.80 the negative there corresponds to a downward motion i mean downward acceleration thank you